This is just a quick video about saving uh, some sheets from an Excel spreadsheet to a separate workbook. Um, a student asked me how to do this, so I looked it up. So here's where I found it on Reddit, and I'm just going to do a demo. So I have a bunch of uh, sheets. I got some data from uh, Weather Underground, love Weather Underground. And let's say, so this had uh, five sheets from April, May, June, July, and August. And now let's say I just want the summer. Maybe I just want June, July, and August. And I'm going to save those as a, a separate workbook. So I can um, sort of click one and then hold down control and get a sort of a multiple selection. So now I have June, July, and August by holding down control Maybe if you're on a Mac command, I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to sort of right click on that. And there is this move or copy option. That's what we want. And then up here, there's a, a to book. So it's right now the default is to sort of save those sheets to the same book. That's not what I want. So I'm going to say a new book. So I'm going to make a new book. And then I'm going to say I want a copy because I don't want them taken. I'm going to say I don't want them taken out of this one. I just want them copied over to the new book. And so so I am I'm not moving. I'm copying, I'm copying to a new book. And then let's say OK. And then uh, here is uh, some new book called book three. I must have something called book one and book two somewhere. Um, but, and it just has my highlighted sheets, June, July, and August. And then I'm going to have to uh, finish the job by doing some like save as, I think I'll just throw it in my uh, downloads. I'm not interested in just doing it, um, showing how to do it rather than really saving the status, but I'll say, I don't know, weather, uh, summer, this was uh, 2024 or something and then save. So now I have my original sheet, which had April, May, June, July, and August. And then I have a new uh, sheet with just June, July, and August. Um, and so then I have a copy of the file of the workbook, but only the sheets that I selected. That's it. That's all I wanted to show with this one. Thanks for your attention.